This is my first video on biodiversity and here I will discuss about the definition of biological diversity, its different levels and also some important information on it. The term biodiversity is the abbreviated word for biological diversity. According to the US Office of Technology Assessment, biological diversity is the variety and variability among living organisms and the ecological complexes in which they occur. So genetic variability among individuals within each species, variety of different species and variety of ecosystem constitute the biological diversity. Biodiversity can be defined as the broader term that circumvents all type of biological forms that exist on this planet. So it is the sum of all life on earth. Every single individual life form from the smallest bacteria to in the soil to the largest whale in the sea is a component of Earth's biodiversity. But biodiversity does not stop at the individual. Biodiversity is also the relationship between these life forms and their habitat. That includes the relationship between planktons and whales that help produce oxygen in the atmosphere, seeds and rhinos that help plant forest and bacteria and plants that change the chemistry of soil. Biodiversity exists at different levels from ecosystem to species to genes and can be measured at genetic species and ecosystem levels. Genetic levels are called genetic diversity, species level is called species diversity and ecosystem level is called ecosystem diversity. Diversity at each of these levels is connected. Changes at one level of diversity can lead to changes at other levels. Now I discuss genetic diversity, species diversity and ecosystem diversity one by one. Biodiversity at final levels of organization include the genetic variation within species. Both, the, both among geographically separated populations and among individuals within single population. So this is the total number of different genotypes existing in the population of a community. No two individuals belonging to the same species are exactly similar. Every individual plant or animal has a distinct combination of genes. The variety of genes within each individual is a species in a species is known as genetic diversity. So genetic diversity is the diversity of genetic characteristics expressed or recessive within a species that is between individual or population of the same species. For example, in the species of human beings, homo sapiens, each human shows a lot of diversity in comparison to another human population living in different regions like Europe, Asia, Africa show a great level of variation. Diversity, now I discuss about this species diversity. Diversity at the most basic level includes full range of species on earth ranging from microorganisms such as viruses, bacteria and proteins show uh, through the multicellular kingdoms of plants animals and, and fungi. Species diversity measures total number of different species found within community or a given territory. The number of species in a region varies widely depending upon the varied environmental conditions. For example, a large tropical rainforest has much higher species diversity than a sandy desert where a select few species can survive. Further civilization located near water bodies tend to support greater species diversity compared to areas further from water sources. A biological community together with its associate 
physical environment is termed an ecosystem. Terrestrial ecosystem like forest, grassland, tundras, and desert are found on the land. Freshwater and marine ecosystem are found in the earth's water. So, diversity observed among the ecosystem in a particular region is known as ecosystem diversity. Ecosystem diversity represent the broadest scale of biodiversity. So, on a wider scale, ecosystem diversity includes variation in the biological communities in which species live, the ecosystem in which community exists, and the interaction among biotic factors as well as non-living component and environmental conditions that is abiotic factors. So ecosystem is connected to other because each ecosystem is connected to other because certain biotic and abiotic factors can move between ecosystem like nutrients, organisms, water and soil. As a result, changes to one ecosystem can lead to changes in another. Now we discuss about some important information on biodiversity. The diversity of plant and animal is not uniform throughout the world, rather show an uneven distribution. Species diversity increases and one proceeds from higher to lower altitude and higher to lower latitude diversity increases so diversity is mainly a function of latitude not longitude or distance from sea now why biodiversity is rich in tropics unlike temperate regions subject to frequent glaciation in the past tropical latitude have remained undisturbed for millions of years and thus have a has a long evolutionary time for species diversification. Tropical environments, unlike uh, temperate ones, are less seasonal, relatively more constant and predictable. Such constant environments promote niche specialization and lead to a greater species diversity. There are more solar energy available in the tropics. tropics which contributes higher productivity, this in turn might contribute indirectly to greater diversity. Biodiversity is defined and measured at an attribute that has two components, richness and evenness. The species diversity can be more of an ecosystem if the diversity is more richness, more evenness and less dominance. Species richness is the total number of species that inhabited in a geographical location. Here the number of species in the picture at the left side is 5 and here number of species uh, is in this picture is 10. So in, in terms of richness uh the picture one is the right side is the more richness then the richness is more in picture image in right side than left species event nets promotes the promo, promote proportion of species present on a site the more equal species are a proportion to each other, the greater the evenness of the area. A site with low evenness indicates that that uh, a few species dominate the site. So here, in case of area one and area two, both have four species. So in case of richness, it is same. Area one and area two richness is same but but you can see that it is more even rather area one is more even even than uh, area two 
and species dominance dominance is the state of being supreme or dominant a dominant species thrives in an ecosystem by being the most numerous and exerting significant influence in controlling the other animals within its uh, ecological community so here you can see this species contains 70% of the species so this site a is highly species dominance of this particular species and species diversity is the number of species in an area or number per unit area and abundance re refers to the number of individual of a particular species of an area so these are the reference most of the information is taken from trusted site of the open source so you can read it for your uh, future is further knowledge so